All right, next up is um, Rebecca Mills and Samuel Mills. Looks like we have both here. Yes. I'm present. All right, thank you. Let me get to my notes here. <laughs> There's two matters on um, the family law matter. And it looks like, um, uh, I don't know if she's with us. Um, uh, Christina Day is the guardian ad litem. Um, and then there's also a um, anti-harassment order matter that was put on this docket. And I think my notes show that there was supervised visits um ordered and i was wondering how those were going if they were going uh your honor i've only been able to see my kids once i was not able to see them last week because my sister was and her kids were sick um, but the one meeting we had went really well Let me, I guess, start here. Um, Ms. Mills, are you still seeking an anti-harassment order? Yes. <laughs> I I thought that I had one already. Yeah, let me uh, let me just check here uh, the status of that. So what I had done is I reissued the temporary order um, until today. Let's see, that was me, yeah, that was me. Okay. Well, we need to re resolve that issue. So um, what I'm gonna do is have a hearing on that anti-harassment um order request and um the way i do that is i'm going to place miss mills under oath and have her tell me why she feels an anti-harassment order is necessary and then mr mills you'll have a chance to respond and then miss mills you'll have a chance to reply to whatever mr mills says okay so let's do that uh, before we then go to the family law matter and see if that has any effect on that. So Ms. Mills, if you'll raise your right hand, please. Do you swear or affirm to tell the truth in these proceedings? Yes. Okay. What is your full name, please? Rebecca Larie Mills. Okay. And is everything that you stated in your petition for the anti-harassment order, true and correct? Yes. All right, tell the court in your own words why you would like an anti-harassment order entered. Um, the main reason being um, he has made threats, um, many, many threats I'm, for years and, and more so today, now that we're separate. Um, I'm not quite sure how to word this. <laughs> um, I have a past um, and it's um, of sexual nature um, that I, I don't want him telling people about. He's threatening to tell friends, family members, um, awful things. Um, and then also we have had a past of domestic violence that I, I still fear today. All right, thank you. Mr. Mills, I, I need to place you under oath. I want to raise your right hand. Do you swear or affirm to tell the truth in these proceedings? Yes, Your Honor. All right, thank you. What is your full name, please? 
Samuel Paul Mills. You've had a chance to review Ms. Mills petition in this case? Yes, I have. Okay. And you just heard her uh, comments. Um, if you'd like to respond, um, this would be the time to do that. Um, so what she says with the violence is not fully true. She has been the one to hit me and I have defended myself. And she has on those occasions when I pushed her off me or grabbed her to stop her from hitting me, threatened to call the police and saying, who are they going to believe? You're the big man and I'm the little girl. And with the exposing the past, it's that's nothing I would ever do. We would have toxic fights all the time. And I would say that because I knew it bothered her. That's not, that's not a reflection on my character. I've never done that. And it's not something I would do. And I'm not a violent person. I'm not an angry person. But Rebecca and I, we didn't get along. And we brought out the worst in each other. I have no desire to spread what she has done. That is her business. I made a stupid statement out because if you got around to reading my response to it, she was harassing me. And I said those things to get her to stop. And then another, the one other time when I said it was because she was taking my kids from me and I said it out of fear of not seeing my kids. If it were something that I truly would have done, Rebecca and I were together for seven years. I would have done it. I've never done it. You did send texts threatening to do that, right? I did do that. Um, I'm looking at one and I'm, I'm gonna read it um, just so anybody reviewing the record will know what I'm referring to. Um, it says, uh, do something or we'll go down this route and Robert will throw your uh, throw you out. Um, and then she responds, you have a history. And then you respond, yeah, you have a history Two years of porn on the Internet. I'll just tell everyone Robert will throw you the F out because he'll be humiliated. So you don't deny that that was you wrote that. I did write that, but it was just out of fear of not seeing my kids. Okay. Did you ever get a chance to review my response and how she would speak to me? I'm looking for that in the file maybe let me i've read both files i i don't see a a response in this particular one let me go um look at the family love Um, sir, I, I I don't see it in the file. I, I accept what you testified to today, however. Um, so I'm, I'm not disputing what you're telling me. Okay. I really hope you consider that I'm not a threat to Rebecca. I think she is just using this as an easy way to maintain custody of our children.
and many of the evidence or much of the evidence she has put in her harassment is years old and not even relevant. Has um, Christina Day reached out to either of you at this point? Yes. I have spoke with her and she said the soonest she could meet with me was April 5th. Okay. All right, Ms. Mills, um, I'm, uh, you, you have a chance to reply to what Mr. Mills said. Um, I, I don't feel safe him being able to contact me. Um, as far as things being years old, um, sure, some of it was, but some of it was, I mean, just months ago um, when we split or months before we split. Um, it was not all many years ago and i think that it just speaks to his character and um him as a parent what i just read um how long ago was it that that was said just months ago that text um he's threatened to send those to my father which Who is robert uh, that's my boyfriend okay and he knows about all of that. It, it's just, why threaten? I... Okay. I have it here. In the current uh, protection order statute, uh, there there are a number of definitions of what constitutes harassment. And recently, um, they added um, a section called coercive language, and what it's trying to get at is that um, even though there may not be any physical harm between the couple, um, that one party uses language intended to take away the free will of the other couple, or the other party. Your um, Honor. It, it's my okay. turn now, Mr. Mills. And uh, the text I read, and I and there were others that were similar. I think there was a threat to contact Ms. Mills' boss uh, was another one. Um, was couched in a way of wanting Ms. Mills to do something. You know, it, it, it basically amounted to if you don't do what I want then I'm going to tell Robert. And if you don't do what I want, then I'm going to let your past be known. Um, and under the current statute, that meets the definition of coercive language. And based on that, um, I think a anti-harassment order um, is... Um, is warranted. So, um, that's going to um, prevent you from having um, contact with each other. Um, it's going to prevent you, um, I'm going to specifically prevent any um, disclosure of um, any facts about Ms. Mills' life in any way. Um, I guess the question is, um, we have a child involved, and so is there two children? Um, 
Um, Ms. Mills, um, how would you propose uh, communication regarding visitation and other things relating to the children? Um, we were going through his sister, Angela Lockyer, who is supervising the visits, um, and she has asked to be removed from communication. She doesn't want to do the back and forth between he and I. Um, so I have been using my boyfriend, Robert, um, which seems to be going well. There's not very much communication, but I think the points get across pretty clear. Mr. Mills, are you comfortable uh, communicating through Robert? I don't mind. I He is slow to respond and sometimes just won't, and I have to reach out to other people, so that's frustrating. I just want to review something from the last time we were together. Just give me a moment. Which topic was this? This is uh, just a minute. I'm talking to somebody. This is the sister is not available to supervise the visits. Is there somebody else that can do that? No. Hmm. Your Honor, I really don't think supervised visits is necessary. I am not a danger to my children. And she didn't think that for months when she left me. She left the kids with me for a week at a time to go stay with her boyfriend. So here's what I'm. Here's my position. I want to hear a report from the guardian ad litem and height before I'm willing to consider unsupervised visits. So that's going to be a few weeks. And until we get there, um, I'm going to allow supervised visits. But we have to agree on a supervisor or um, then you know, you're probably going to be limited to the video calls. Well, I think I, I know that's frustrating, but um, I I make decisions that that I hope protect the children, and I need more information right now before I can um, I can consider unsupervised visits. I still think my sister was fine with the kids coming over on the weekends. She just didn't want to be the center of our communication. Okay, we'll leave that in place. She won't be the, the go-between. I'll let Robert be the go-between. I know that that's, that's gotta be a bit uncomfortable, but if it works, then let's do that. Um, and um, Ms. Mills, I've indicated the visits are overnight, Saturday at 10 to Sunday at six at Ms. Locklear's home and I, um, and that's every other weekend. I want you to cooperate with that, okay? Um, I have a question. Yes. Um, so Angela, she does church twice a day on Sundays, and she has kind of expressed to me that she can't do Sundays anymore. Um, so I don't know if you can put in an order um, just stating Saturdays only just to make things less complicated and straightforward for all parties involved. I feel like there's been a lot of confusion. Um, you know what time she begins uh, these church services? I know she goes to a morning service and an evening service. And it's. In. Well, I I'm. At this point, not willing to take away the overnight uh, with Mr. Mills. I think that's an important time to be with the children. He, uh, sorry. Go as ahead. Far, as far as I understand, he's not staying the night. Only the children are staying the night and he's returning on Sunday. So last, 
my last visit, I tucked them in. And then when they were asleep, I left. Where do you go when you leave? I just go back home because I don't want to sleep on a couch. Angela has told me she doesn't want to do Sundays anymore. So. Well, then my inclination is to move it to Friday to Saturday. Is that a possibility for you, Mr. Mills? I work on Fridays, but I could go over after work and see them. When are you done with work? Um, it varies. I work construction, so it depends on what work we're doing. Um, typically 3.30, sometimes 5.30. I'm inclined to move it to um, Friday at 6 p.m. So we know you're done with your job until Saturday at I guess we'd have to go Saturday at 6 p.m. Um, let's go with that. Your Honor, I, I'm sorry. I again, I, I I would like to preserve an overnight visit for for you and your children. I I appreciate that. Go ahead. Um, I just, I have concerns with her, with my kids at her house. At whose house? With Rebecca and her boyfriend. I haven't had an opportunity to bring it up yet. So I, okay, um, I'll, I'll listen to it. Go ahead. I don't believe it's a stable environment. I have his best friend is my cousin and i've spoke with him and he has said before that he's not sure he wants rebecca and that they've had multiple fights just last week or so the two of them went to my sister's house to get an old couch of rebecca's and they were arguing and then rebecca yelled at him and said i'll just go sit in the truck and went and sat in the truck and made him load the couch by himself i don't know how much they're fighting in front of the kids it, i don't know I'm sorry, that's bogus. It was missed by my family. All right. Um, I, I will, um, two things. I'll encourage Miss Mills and her boyfriend not to argue in front of the kids. I understand some relationships communicate through argument. And if that is the case, just don't, don't do it in front of the kids. Second of all, uh, Mr. Mills, bring this up to Ms. Height and so that she can look into it further, okay? Can I speak for a moment? Okay. Yes, um, please. So we picked this couch up at his sister Angela's house, and Angela was the only one present. Um, the statements that he just made are completely false. I helped him load. I was in the back of the truck loading it the entire time. The entire time we entered the truck at the same time. And this makes me so concerned to even be around his family at this point. If there's going to be false statements made about me dropping my kids off. I was already on the fence. I was going to say things and I, I, I held back. Um, but now I'm very concerned about taking my kids there and me even being there at all. I'm not going to change um, my orders um, based on this. Um, so I'm I'm still going to leave the Friday to Saturday um, visit with Mr. Mills. I'm going to leave Ms. Locklear as the supervisor. All of this needs to be discussed with Ms. Height, and then when we get a report, I'll I'll consider where we go from there. Okay. All right. Let me see if I can figure out when we're coming back. I need to look at the guardian ad litem. 
uh, order. I don't have a date in there. Um, why don't we come back on uh, May 3rd at nine o'clock? That will be about a month from now. I want to know how the supervised visits were going, and we'll get an update from Ms. Height on that, or um, Ms. Uh, Christina Day, I'm sorry, on that day. Okay. I wanted to bring up a few things, if that's okay. Um, go ahead. Um, I have belongings still at Samuel's house. Um, they're in a storage shed. I never had a chance to collect those things. Um, I have also asked for children's toys and some of their belongings, and he refused. Um, something like comfort items that my kids are wanting. Um, and also I'm very concerned about, um, we have a vehicle that I've been driving since we've gotten it. Um, it's in my possession. It's a 2018 Kia Soul. Um, Samuel has let me know that he has stopped making payments on it. He has taken the insurance off of it and I should expect for it to be repossessed. Um, I need a car to transport the children around, and I think that he should be paying it as he always has. If I may respond to that. I yeah, finished. you can't. Let me finish my notes here. He also took um, our tax return. He did not tell me how much it was. He filed. I had a small income that he filed also, um, and he took it. I don't know how much it was, but I don't know why it didn't go to paying my car and keeping it current for our children. Okay. Any other issues? Um, uh, child support. And All right, may I respond? Yes, Mr. Mills, go ahead. Um, on the subject of the Kia, I I did not remove the insurance. I simply couldn't afford to pay it to renew it and it lapsed. And I told her that when it happened, I said, hey, I can't afford this. And then with the Kia, I haven't paid it because I can't afford it. Rebecca used to live here. She used to bring in some income and I had more money to spend. I Per hour right now, I'm making a little bit more than I used to, but I'm driving to Portland every day and I'm being taxed harder. So I have less money. And so I simply can't afford that car. I asked for her to return it so that I can try and sell it or just give it back to the bank because I cannot make those payments. And with the tax return, I was unemployed for two months. I got $2,200 back. And her income that I filed, she owed um, about $200. So I paid what she owed. And then I took the $2,000 that I got off my income and put it towards the bills that I had not paid for those two months. I didn't go on a spending spree and buy myself trinkets or whatever. I just, I, I paid the bills. Uh, what about the belongings uh, that Ms. Mills has at your house? They are in the shed, and the shed is unlocked. She said she she said she had everything out of the house, and so it's all in the shed. She can get she or Robert can get them whenever. I do not care. Um, and with the toys, she's already taken like half of them to Robert's house. There's, I don't want to take all my children's toys out of their home. She was asking for certain toys. She gave my sister a list and I was looking through the toys and they're already gone. I couldn't even find them. And that was when I... Because just digging through all their toys, that's when I realized how many were already gone. And I was just said, I'm not comfortable getting getting rid of or giving up all their toys out of out of their home. 
I want my kids here. I want them to have some toys when they come over. All right, um, as to the belongings that are in the shed, um, I'd like Robert to inform Mr. Mills when he can go over there to pick those up. And um, if Ms. Mills wants to go over also, um, then it should be a time when Mr. Mills is not present, but there needs to be notification about that. For now, I'm going to accept Mr. Mills' representation that many of the toys are already um, with Ms. Mills, and so I'm not going to order anything specific on the toys. I took eight things, eight items for my kids. Eight. It sounds like you already provided a list of those to Mr. Mills, and I, I, he, said he can't find them. Um, as to the Kia, um, before May 2nd, Mr. Mills, I'm, I'm going to need you to do a few things for me. I need you to fill out a financial declaration. Uh, you could get one from the clerk's office here that shows all of your income and all of your expenses. To my knowledge, I already filled one of those out. Okay. Uh, let me, let me make sure I'm in the right case here. Just a minute. That was, uh, okay. Uh, okay, good. I, I do see that. And I believe I don't even have the Kia on there and I'm still underwater. Okay. The next thing I need you to do then is I want you to provide three months of your um, wage stubs. Um, so do you get a, a, a wage from an employer? I get, yes, I work for Kiwit and I get paid every week, um, but I haven't, I haven't been there three months. I haven't even been there two months. Well, whatever whatever you can go back to i want to see what your current earnings are all right, all right. Uh, so i can match that with your uh financial declaration the refund on the tax return um well, let's do this. The The next thing I need from you is um, if you paid debts with the tax return, I need to know what those debts are. I, um, I, I, I need you to submit that in writing to me, which, which is file it with the court, send a copy to Ms. Mills. What I'm interested in is, are these debts community debts or are they separate debts that were incurred? after you separated so i need to know where that was spent uh, i will just say um the tax return is community property and um at some point it's going to have to be accounted for in in the financial um disposition of this case um but i i for the time being i'd like to know what debts you paid with that with that money your okay. honor i have no idea how to track that it went into my bank account and then i just paid bills i don't know how to paper trail that well you must uh whatever bills you paid after it went into your bank account i need to know that um for example if you paid a hundred dollars in bills and yet you took in 2200 in the tax return then then it's not going to look like you paid bills with it if you paid up to two thousand, three thousand dollars in bills, then it's going to look like you did apply it. I I need that information to evaluate this. I will do my best to pull statements. Okay. Can I add something? Um, just just one moment, and in, and so until I get that information, 
Um, at this point, I'm not going to order Mr. Mills to pay the Kia insurance or the Kia payment. And um, uh, if his income shows that he does have the ability to do that, then I, uh, I may change my mind on that. But until I get that information, I'm, I'm not going to order that. We will address all that on May 2nd. Ms. Mills, go ahead. Um, back on the Kia, he had added, I can't recall what month I can't log into that bank account any longer. Um, but just months before we divorced, he added on, he, he refinanced the car and added a $5,000 credit card onto that vehicle loan. And I had told him, hey, we're rocky right now. This is not a good idea. And he didn't really consult me. He went ahead and did it anyway. So the balance was around 10,000 at that time. Now it's 15,000. I, I refinanced trying to get rid of debt and have a lower monthly payment was what I did. You must have paperwork on that refinance, Mr. Mills. When was it? The refinance we're talking about, you must have paperwork on it. I'm, I mean, probably at some point I did. I can get information from the bank. Do you know where you did the refinance? At Red Canoe. Okay, go to Red Canoe and they should have it. And I, I want you to file that with the court also. Yes, Your Honor. And I have another question or concern is he hasn't paid on the Kia, I think since January is what he said. So is it then at risk of being repossessed? What happens then? We're just going to wait until it gets repossessed? I, I, either that or uh, if you want to make a payment on it, you can. I'm not going to order Mr. Mills to do it until I see the financial issue a little more clearly. Um, so, uh, if there, I, I don't know, you, it may get repossessed or you could reach out to the lender and, and make some payment to keep that from happening. Um, I, and I'm going to address all of this on May 2nd after I get the financial information. So you may want to take some steps to make sure it doesn't get repossessed. Before I'm that. willing to meet with Robert to accept payment for the car if she wants it. Meaning if she wants to buy the car? If she wants to make the payments. Okay. Well, uh, that's going to be up to, to Ms. Mills. I'll let her decide that. I, I just need more information before I can decide if Mr. Mills is going to be responsible for that. Okay. Um, and what about child support? Um, Ms. Looney is here and she probably has wants to weigh in on the child support issue. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, yes, the state has just recently put in a notice of appearance as to child support. Um, the children are receiving state medical and TANF benefits currently. Um, so we would be asking that child support not be addressed at this time. Uh, at this point, what we've seen in the paperwork is that both parents are asking for full custody, so the state wouldn't have the ability to put in a child support order until that's been determined. And then we would be asking to be the ones to draft that order and present it to the court. Okay. All right. And uh, we're not going to make a determination of custody until I hear back from Ms. Day um, after her investigation. Okay. All right, uh, if we could get the documents then into the court, we'll be back here on May 2nd. We'll make some additional decisions, okay? And Your Honor, Your Honor if the state can just um, ask Mr. Mills that he serves us with that paperwork as well, and that now that we've filed our notice of appearance, he should be getting that soon if he does not already have it, which would have our address for service. So the Department of Child Support is asking that whatever you file with the court, and send to Ms. Mills, you also send to the Department of Child Support. Okay, um, one sec. And what, I'm sorry, please remind me what you wanted me to submit so that I can write it all down. Okay, you ready? Yes. I need your recent 
wage statements from Kiwit. Okay. I need the refinance papers for the car. Um, you've already filed a uh, financial declaration, so uh, we don't need to redo that. And I need documentation on what bills were paid with the tax return. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you, everyone. I'll be entering an anti-harassment order in the um, um, anti-harassment case, and that will be available to pick up probably by Friday if you want to get a copy of it. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. Thank you. We'll see you back here in a month then, okay? Thank Take you. Care. Thank you, Your Honor.